Wow, uh, yesterday was quite a day. A lot of you noticed that my channel just completely disappeared off the face of the earth. I was just as surprised as you were. Um, I put the full explanation for this, this whole situation up on my second channel, which I haven't uploaded to in over a year, uh, but it's all there on the other channel. If you want the full explanation down in the description or click right up here, you can go watch that video where I go in depth on it. Um, I'll give you the short version here. Essentially, it was a mistake with YouTube's algorithm that looks for inappropriate content. It flagged one of my videos and decided that this family-friendly Pokemon Go video was so inappropriate that my entire channel and my entire Google account had to be deleted. So, we got it all figured out. Uh, it took pretty much the entire day, uh, a lot of trying to get in contact with different people, and finally the channel's back up because, well, what do you know, this family-friendly Pokemon Go video did not contain inappropriate content. So, YouTube's AI, YouTube's algorithms, just uh, decided to completely delete my channel with no human intervention whatsoever. No one ever reviewed it and decided that, well, if anyone had looked at the video for 10 seconds, they would have realized there was a mistake, but they left it to the algorithms and my channel disappeared completely for like 13, 14, 15 hours. So anyway, uh, throughout all that, a lot happened in Pokemon Go as well, and I'm just now catching up because I spent most of the day yesterday trying to figure out that issue. Um, so Trails has found some stuff in the latest update. It's rolling out now to a small percentage of Android users, and it seems like uh, with this version, with previous versions, you could download the APK and install it yourself. Uh, it seems like that no longer works. So if you don't get the update in your actual Google Play Store, don't go download it somewhere else. It's not going to work that way. But Trails has found two things. Uh, one, Team Change. Team Change looks like it finally might be coming to Pokemon Go. There's an icon for it. It looks like it's an item that can be bought in the shop. Um, and it can only be bought once a year. So you can change teams once a year. For those of you who've been playing with people and uh, maybe like you made a new friend group or your significant other is on a different team, you can finally, well, soon, we don't know when exactly, uh, but soon be able to change teams once per year in Pokemon Go. The other thing is that there's a new loading screen, and guess who's featured prominently? Front and center, it's Smeargle. It looks like the trainer's taking an AR photo, so probably a reference to Go Snapshot, and Smeargle, confirmed for Pokemon Go. So the paint is, uh, it's spreading. The paint has been splattering all over social media, and it looks like Smeargle is confirmed now. So. Probably sometime after this update goes live across all devices, once everyone has it, once Android and iOS both have the update, I expect that we'll see Smeargle pretty soon after that. So, coming soon, Smeargle, uh, team changes, and the rest of this video is Community Day, which was a fun Community Day. Uh, and again, if you want to watch that full explanation of what happened with the channel yesterday, down in the description. Enjoy. Good morning! It's community day, and much of my morning so far has been spent appraising Lotad and Meltan. It's been raining the last couple days, and I literally have not seen event Pokemon. Uh, six hour lures, so I've had lures running at the apartment for a lot of the time, and mostly, mostly just weather boosted Pokemon, not so much event Pokemon. Now, uh, I've, I've appraised all these, I'm saving a couple potential Lotad for PvP, because if if the Sylph League Arena ever includes water types in a meta, you can be sure that Ludicolo with Razor Leaf is going to be one of the top Pokemon in that meta. And speaking of metas, we have a new one today. Uh, well, a new one was announced yesterday. Now I have to go through and do these one at a time. The Tempest Cup is the March-themed cup for the Sylph League Arena. It includes Ice, Flying, Electric, and Ground-type Pokemon. And uh, we are reusing a type now, Ground-type Pokemon, because it's just a little easier on people's Stardust. You'll see some Pokemon repeated in this meta, uh, some of the water ground types like Marshtomp, Whiskash, uh, Skarmory. Skarmory's going to be a Pokemon that'll probably be pretty good in this meta as well. So, 
uh, consider it a bit of a Stardust saver in some ways, but in other ways, there are definitely new Pokemon that you're going to want to power up. So I haven't even done my Twilight Cup yet. I'm competing tomorrow, but I'm already looking forward to the Tempest Cup. Here's a little preview of, of what I've written down. This is what the meta is going to look like. Something like that. It's a little confusing right now, but I've listed out Pokemon that I think are going to be good. Among them, not actually written down here, are today's featured Pokemon, Piloswine, Mamoswine. They're both ground and ice type, so they fit perfectly in this meta game. There are going to be a lot of flying types in the meta because there are a lot of, well, there's a couple grass types because Razor Leaf is just so strong. So definitely be on the lookout. If you haven't had Community Day yet, and I think most of you already have by the time you're watching this, uh, I hope you evolved a Mamoswine with Ancient Power for the Great League. First box. This is only one box of Meltan. There's another box down here. Keep transferring. Community Day starts soon. Here we go. Just a few minutes late, as always. But two swine up right here. The event is on, which means I need to... Definitely put on a star piece. Triple, double catch Stardust, triple. Either way, I really, I really could use the dust. Well, are you ready to catch some swine up? And another one, and another one. So I've heard, I've read online that a lot of the issues that people have seen on past community days with, you know, nests sometimes overtaking community day spawns or events like the Valentine's event overtaking community day spawns, a lot of that's been fixed. So good job, Niantic. That's why I'm comfortable here at the pike, even though it's a nest. Plenty of swine up already. Oh man, lots of swine up. Keep checking. I know I've said it before, but swine up was my original favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. Um, it's kind of like the sand true of Gen 2. It's like a little round ground type Pokemon. So uh, hopefully, hopefully I can grab a couple shinies at least. But if not, we do at least have the newly buffed ancient power. So I'm going to go ahead and evolve actually right now after I catch this swine up. Also, I'm low on Pokeballs already. It's not good. Right out here in front of our freshly remodeled aquarium. Wow. Hold on. I have swine up to check. Uh, okay. Uh, before we go too deep into the day, I just want to evolve right now. Also, I forgot when I was transferring Pokemon. I did 80 swine up trades with Ken and got two luckies out of it. But the one I'm gonna evolve right now is the one I got from Pokemon Master Holly, which was our best friends trade. So, one evolution up to Piloswine. I think it's a 91%, 15 attack, but it's lucky. So, saves me some dust maxing it out if I wanna use this in Master League, where Mamoswine is actually a very good choice. And then for the first time ever, in Pokemon Go, I'm evolving Piloswine to Mamoswine, and I should have Ancient Power. The newly, recently buffed, much improved Ancient Power. Right, Lola? There it is. What do you think? She doesn't care. New Pokemon in the Pokedex. Did I put a, a Lucky Egg on or just a Star Piece? Either way, I got a Mamoswine. Now, Time to keep checking. It's gotten to the point that I have such low expectations for shiny checks that I only get the camera out if there's three or more at a time. Otherwise, I'm just shooting a ton of clips that won't get used. Uh, three. Well, four, I guess. Five for the off-brand. I already checked the swab loop. That was a no. Yo, how's it going? I got a 10K. 10K hatching here. How about a, we got one of these. <laughs> we'll get handshakes after this Absol. Oh, that's my first Absol hatch. So that's kind of something for today. You guys have shinies yet? Probably a few. I got one. One? Five minutes and two. Dang. I got nothing. Four at a time. Is this my time? Mm, please. About an hour in now, so right on schedule. No shinies for me. Come on. Oh, there's five here. 
Not yet. Not yet. You gotta. They're all around me. They're just not on my screen. Oh man, this is definitely the spot. Uh, which of these could be lures? Lures first. That's maybe. Diggy. Oh, finally. Hey, how's it going? I got one. I finally did it. A little green. I'm gonna put it in AR somewhere around here. Actually, honestly, I don't need to stress too much about taking the AR picture right now because we have Go Snapshot coming soon. So, instead, why don't I just catch the beautiful Matcha Piggy? Let's see if I can hit an excellent throw. These throws are difficult today. Um, but finally, 12.13, an hour and 13 minutes in. I got my shiny, got my little matcha cake. I feel better. How are your IVs? Not good at all, but I love you. Let's do that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What was your name? Valdir. Valdir. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, there's way more swine up here, but we got a trade. It's not a special trade, but it's definitely a good trade. Yeah, I think so. I, I got a, so. a legacy Dragonite coming my way. So what would you like in return? Doesn't matter. Sure. I didn't, yeah, I didn't have anything planned. Nothing? Yeah, no, you could save your special trade too in case you want to. I mean, no one's asked for it yet. Oh, I got to clear out a friend spot. All right, we're going, we're trying to get lucky here. I'm going all the way down. Super old Exeggutor. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, this was the first good IV execute that I caught and I held on to it for so long. Oh, wow. Because okay. it, was, it was low level, so I didn't want to evolve it. Mm, nice but then nice. I finally did. So July 23rd. Yeah, you're looking for 3034 for 3034 for a hundred. Okay. Good luck. Likewise. I always get so nervous on this. It's like, you know, it's good no matter what. It's a legacy Pokemon, but is it lucky? Oh, I don't know. No. No, but. Ah. Uh, you may not be great in 22. battle. <laughs> oh yeah, this one way down. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Yeah, no Thank problem. you so much. Have a good one. You too. Good luck. I got one. I got one. I got another one. I don't want to run away though because it's a uh, it's a lure spawn. So I'm just gonna go with it. Another matcha cake. It's picking up. 12:36. Two shinies. All right. Thanks, Lola. Appreciate the help. She doesn't want to help me. Two shinies. I finally found another one. Hi, Lola. Hi. Oh, look, she's interested now. All right, this one I'm taking a picture of. Oh my gosh, do you want to be in the picture? Just kidding, I give up. I'm waiting for, what's it called? Go snapshot. We'll get some shiny swine up pictures, eventually. All right, three. I was starting to get worried that I was going back to my old community day ways. Three. All right, seven kilometer eggs hatching. Um, you know, maybe I'll keep up the green shinies. Nope, that's, that's not a shiny. I think I've got five, five of them. What's up, Badoo? It's green, it's not shiny. What's up? How's it going? Take it easy. All right, let's keep it going. Hatching more Smoochum and Cleffa and Igglybuff and Badoo and Pichu. Maybe I'll just be positive. Like, watch this shiny hatch right now. It's the first one that actually couldn't be shiny. Come on. Uh, finally. You see that, Lola? Look what I got. Look what I got. Oh my god. Look, she, she doesn't like the camera. I got it. I finally hatched a Mantike. Wow. All right, that's something. Can't wait to take an AR picture of this because it has that cute little smiley face on its back. But there's no way to ever really see that because you can't look at it. So, go snapshot. Last egg? Yep. Also, I heard uh, Kranidos and Shieldon are hatching from 10, are hatching from 10 kilometer eggs. So, I'd like to get a few of those. All right, event's over. Valentine's event is back on. Finally, I'm seeing some pink Pokemon because I literally have not seen any at the apartment. 
over the last few days. Also, I'm almost out of uh, Pokeballs entirely. So, quick lick of tongue here, and then we're gonna get back to the apartment and evolve some ancient power, Mammoth Swine. Whoa, okay, after like 30 minutes of IV checking, I've gone through and I've starred the ones that I need to evolve, and I forgot to mark some of them, whether they need to go to Piloswine or Mamoswine. Uh-oh. All right, we don't have much time. It's literally, it's 2.55. I have five minutes to evolve these. Um, this one is so high level that it has to go all the way to Mamoswine. Uh, it won't be low enough CP to perform as a Piloswine in Great League. So I guess I only have to worry about the Mamoswine evolutions before the five minutes are up. But look at that. I think the Piloswine shiny looks better than the Mamoswine shiny. Nice, uh, nice yellowish Piloswine there. And then we'll go up to Mamoswine, which turns back to a kind of a boogery green, I would say. Very boogery. Yep, like a like a bad booger green. Ooh. But this one should get up to close to 2,500. So what I want to do now is search all the Swine Up M. These are the ones I'm evolving to Mamoswine. I don't know how many Sinnoh stones I have right now, actually. But I went through and calculated IVs specifically for PvP. Obviously, the ones with the best IVs, I'm going to evolve all the way. Those are my Master League Mammoth Swine. But for PvP, typically what you want to look for is an IV combination that's going to get you closest to 15 or 2500 with the lowest attack possible. There are obviously ideal or like optimal combinations for all these Pokemon that are going to get you to uh, 2499 or 2500 exactly. But typically looking for low attack, high defense and HP, and close to 15 or 2500. And you can use different tools. A lot of the different um, IV checkers will do that for you and show you where these Pokemon are going to land when they evolve and when they level up. So if you're not using an IV checker that does that, try using a different checker. But right now I just need to squeeze in these last few Swinub M evolutions to Mamoswine. Three minutes left, three evolutions left. Perfect timing. It's a baboon, a baboon-faced woolly mammoth. Last one, the lucky, second lucky of the day. Uh, the IVs aren't the best, but it definitely saves me Stardust in maxing this out. So, on Pokemon like this, I would say try to go for lucky as much as possible. If you need to fully power them up, go for the luckies. Definitely worth it to save the dust. And with that, I should have a small army of ancient power mammoth swine. And between all of these, when they're powered up, they should get pretty close. Look at that, 1489. They should all get pretty close to either 1500, 2500, or with the luckies, I'm just going to max them out completely, eventually, if I ever start competing in Master League. So, for future reference, for future community days, I would do the same thing. Uh, make sure you have a Pokemon at Great League, at Ultra League, and then your best IVs for Master League. Not every Pokemon is going to perform well in all of the leagues, but it never hurts to be prepared. You never know when Niantic is going to change the stats on things or change moves and something suddenly becomes the greatest of all time. So there it is. Happy, shiny, mammoth swine. Community day. I hope everyone got their matcha cake. I got mine. See you soon.